Welcome back. We are joined now by Kyle with Offbeat Artistry, and you're going to teach us all about something called fluid art. It's really, really cool and really mesmerizing to watch, too. So <laughs> yes. we're really excited about this. Um, but let's talk first about what it is. Yes, so what it is is essentially acrylic paint mixed with a paint conditioner, a little bit of water, and then you're just going to layer it into a cup, pour it out, and watch the magic happen. So that's what we're going to do now. All right, yeah, All right, let's so watch the magic. I'm going to start with actually putting some white paint. These are already pre-mixed paints, but when you come to a class, you'll do all the mixing yourself. Okay. But you're going to want to cover a lot of the canvas with paint because you want the paint to move around because it is fluid. And do you always start with white or you just start right no, now? No, I okay. just am right now. Um, you can start with any color that you want. Okay. Um, and you can actually not start with the color if you don't want to. It just helps to have the paint flow over the canvas. So oh, gotcha. we're not even going to fully cover it because we will have enough paint that it will move out of the way, but we're just going to kind of get the basics covered there. And okay. the cool thing is that you can use the same colors, but it could yeah. turn out differently every single time. Every single time. So I'm going to use the exact exact same colors in these two paintings here okay. that I'm using today. And also the best part of this process is that if you don't like the way it turned out, it's fluid. You can literally wipe it off and oh. you can start all sure. over. There's no pressure at all. So um, you also have to think too about colors mixing. So when you put colors next to each other, if you're putting like a yellow and a blue, you're going to make green, mm -hmm. right? So you got to think about, do you want green in your painting or no? So I'm going to start here, if you can see it, I'm going to start by pouring the paints in and we're just going to layer them up in any sort of pattern. It doesn't have to be any sort of um, repeated pattern if you don't want it to be. It can be random mm. and it, okay. it's going to come out magical. So, And actually, I'm going to have you guys pick a paint or two. So who wants to pick the next color? Pink. Pink. <laughs> she goes with the pink. We absolutely <laughs> have to have the pink in there. Kyle, how'd you get started with this or learn um, about it? It was just something I saw online and I just have a very flutter, fluttery brain when it comes to creativity and so I want to try a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just got online, learned more about it and out of a lot of trial and error, mm -hmm. um, learned a bit about it. So All right. What color do you want to pick? Oh, let's just go with this color. The black. Okay. Yeah, black. <laughs> we got to make sure we add a little bit more, but. I was going to say black, but I thought it could be purple or yep. something. You know, it was yes. hard to see. We'll do a little more blue. All right. Woo! Well, this is going to be pretty. That's fine. Yes. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to flip it over in the middle. Oh. We're going to let it sit for a second. Oh, and that's not have... the way I thought this was going to work. <laughs> yeah. So you're just going to cover the rest of the canvas. We're going to make sure we've got enough of that paint mm -hmm. on there. And we do. And as the paint just settles down, we're going to let it just mix its way down. And when it comes out, sometimes the inside of the cup is just more magical than the uh, canvas. Yes. It's amazing. And I have a torch here, too, that I'm going to blow out the bubbles, the air bubbles. So the paint's going to break through and make all these unique designs. And so. while we're waiting on that, do you want to talk about your classes coming up? Yes. So I have classes starting in May. It's going to be offered at the Hope Interfaith Center at 114 Pole Road. My first fluid art class is going to be Friday, May 12th at 6 o'clock. And I'm going to have three fluid art classes in, uh, in May on Fridays. All ages? Um, much? Six and plus. Okay. okay. Six and if they're under 16, they need to have an adult present. Okay, gotcha. Um, but really, anybody can do this. You can be a total beginner. And she said earlier, I'm not an artist. Mm -mm. And I said, but anybody can be an artist when you do this. So, all right, we're about to lift up here. So I'll all let right. everybody come in. And we're gonna, you can lift it up slower. You can lift it up fast. But I'll do it fast for today. Yeah. Ooh. You're going to have some magic happen. <gasps> it just spreads out. Wow. It just starts to move on its own. Kyle, and I have a torch here. <laughs> so look at these so bubbles come awesome. out. And even more magic happens. Gosh, so simple, and you're right, so, so beautiful. So simple, yep. Mm -hmm. And so now what you're going to do is, and I just have some tacks on the back of this, like some simple office tacks mm -hmm. that's holding this painting up, and you're just going to move it around. And it's going to start spreading out and making some magical magical designs. Normally I'd go a bit slower, but we don't have all the time in the world oh, today. Yeah. In fact, we are out of time, but where can folks uh, find you online if they want more information yes. or to sign up for classes? So you can find me on Facebook or Instagram at Offbeat Artistry, and I um, also do photography as well, so if you have any need for photography, I can meet your needs there as well. So That looks cool. Thanks nice so much, yeah, You're this. welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you for having me. All right, we'll be right back with more for you.